Hello, everyone. This is Tammy Lukomsky, Executive Director with Our House Senior Living. So something that we're doing new this year is our legacy. So I have Harold here. Harold, what would you like to leave your legacy? What legacy would you like to leave behind? That I was always fair and uh, true in everything that I did with my friends and neighbors and family and Okay, so Harold, what is important to you? God. And why is God important to you? It's fairly obvious, I think. He should be important to all of us. Yes. So Harold, when you were growing up, and now that, now that we're older, what would be on your bucket list that you would like to do? that you haven't completed yet? Uh, if my wife were alive, we would have taken a trip to South America. We had never been there. We did a lot of traveling, but we never got down to South America. That okay. was on our, our bucket list when she passed away. Okay, now that your wife has passed, and if there was something that I could help you get on your bucket list done, what would that be? Oh, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there something that you want to do for that's fun or uh, some adventure or something that you can think of? Well, our trip was going to be to Costa Rica if... Uh, and Being that we loved to travel, we were in 30-some countries in uh, every state in the United States and most of Canada. Nice. So, just to take a short trip somewhere would be nice. So, what kind of a short trip could I take you on that would be kind of a local trip that you would want to do? Do you just like to go sightseeing or shopping? No, not shopping. Probably sightseeing. Sightseeing. Yeah. Were Were you born here in Wisconsin Rapids? No. Where were you born? I was born up in Hamburg, Wisconsin. I don't know if you know where that is. I don't. Is that up north or yeah. south? Up north? It's, it's north. It's... Uh, uh, West of Athens, it's sort of between Athens, if you know where that mm -hmm. is, and Wassa. So, it's sort of between there. Maybe someday when the weather is a little bit better, I could take you there? That would be, that I would enjoy. And we can just, you can give me the sights of your hometown? I think yeah. that would be fun. Yeah, I agree with you there. Okay, so how about if we wait until the weather's a little bit better and we take a ride? to your hometown. Sounds good. Okay. Well, Harold, I want to thank you for being the first person to do our legacy, and I look forward to taking you on that ride. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Harold. Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Tammy Lukomsky, Executive Director with the Our House Wisconsin Rapids Assisted Care. I know we had plenty of viewers who were able to see Harold with what he wanted to leave his legacy as and what he wanted to do on his bucket list. So today we were very fortunate to get into my truck and we went to Hamburg, Wisconsin, the place where Harold was born. So I'm just going to have Harold give us a little synopsis of our trip today. So Harold, what? how did it go and how do you feel about it? It went wonderful. I just enjoyed it. I'd go tomorrow again. <laughs> So what, can you tell me the story about what we seen today? So I'm going to be sharing the pictures that we have. The first uh, place that we really looked at was uh, where I went to grade school for from second to seven. Okay. And it was, now it's a home 
and it's had a garage added to it. Mm -hmm. From there we went to the place where I lived from uh, second grade to through high school. Okay. And it, it was, it's a very big farm now. It's a 200 acre farm. So your father had 200 acres at that time when you guys were living there. Yeah. What, what kind of farm was it? Dairy farm. Mostly. Dairy farm? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it was very beautiful. Um, the red barn was just amazing. We, you'll see the barn and the house. And then also a, a picture of the field that Don or Harold said that his dad had bought an extra 40 acres when it came up for sale. Yes. And then, and then where? From there we went uh, sort of a short ride, uh, went by a couple churches that I attended. One is torn down, the other one is still, uh, uh, in fact, out of the three, I think the other one we saw was the only one that's left mm -hmm. in existence. And we went a little further and we saw this great school where I went to first grade. And, and uh, what did you call that school when you were younger? What did they call it? A little white schoolhouse. And no, it's a big red building, but it's still got a steeple like it had when. So they just maybe added on a couple yeah, of rooms, yeah. sir. They added on uh, quite a bit. <laughs> And I don't know if it's true, but I heard at one time that they were uh, teaching some uh, college, or not college, yeah, college classes in, in the building there, so they didn't, wouldn't have to bus them all the way to us. So. Wow. And then after that, we're, we went to your... Where the place where I was born, the house or what's left of it, to her. Mm -hmm. I spent my first six years. So, and then we took you for lunch at the Edgar, uh, Edgar restaurant, and you said that it's a pretty populated place. Um, we, we had an amazing time. So, Harold, I hope that I accomplished one thing off of your bucket list. Um, it was fun learning more mm. details about your life and how you told us the story, which I thought was really cute, was when you went to the second grade school and through seventh, that you guys used to cut through the fields and going into the woods to get to your home instead of walking the road. Yeah, the roadway um, was a little over a mile and a half, and if we cut through the fields, uh, we could, in the woods, we could get home faster huh uh, yep. yeah i thought that was a very nice story to hear because i probably would have done the same thing me and walking one and a half miles probably not especially at the young age that you guys were um but like i said it was a it was a beautiful mid at or morning trip that we took and i'm just happy to know more about your life so harold thank you for sharing that part with me you're very welcome Okay. Thank you.